everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Wendy welcome to my new subscribers and hello to my old subscribers that have supported me for so long I hope everyone is doing well this is an outfit of the day I went to see my son yesterday and we spent the most part of the day over there well my son has never said anything about any of my wigs he never has um, Whenever he saw me with this saffron on, saffron from Model Model, um, he complimented me on it and told me that he loved the way that this one with he bloop, bloop. he loves the way this one looks on me. And to come from my son is a true compliment. Um, Let's just say he's not full of compliments. So it is a gorgeous hair piece and um, I am enjoying it. I have gotten a lot of compliments on it. Um, my wig is saffron from Model Model. I've got a new eyebrow kit that I purchased yesterday at Dollar General for $2. This is a number four, which is dark brown instead of black, which it looks black. It even looks black in the sunlight. So since I'm going to be buying some brown uh, rooted wigs, I wanted to get a brown uh, eyebrow color too. This has charcoal that I have on now, brown and then a lighter brown. For two bucks, you can't beat it. It didn't come with a um, wax that you put on first. It's just the powders. Um, so that's my eyebrows and um, my eyelashes are number zero one kiss posh is what they're called and they are feather light feather light but you know they're they're not a dramatic lash they're an everyday lash for sure um, I have my 24 hour stay Maybelline lipstick on I have my little brown necklace set that you've seen a million times. I love it. I just wear it every time I wear brown. This blouse, I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. It has a lot of wonderful fall colors in it. And uh, I like the way that it's v-necked without showing a lot of boom boom. And um, it's got short sleeves because I've been burning up lately even though it's, you know, 60 degrees here. And it gathers underneath the breast line like I like, and it flares out down at the bottom. It has a little white uh, sewing stitch around the bottom. And I paired it with uh, my brown skirt that has a ruffle at the bottom. And my brown suede boots. They're just flat boots, and they are so comfortable. I've got them at a yard sale for five bucks. If I do get cool in this outfit, I just wear my brown sweater with it. Um, we had such a good time visiting with the grandbabies. My son has the two oldest grandchildren and then the youngest. He has two daughters that are the oldest grandchildren, and then he has a son. Um, this, his son was born on New Year's Day. So I won't have any trouble remembering his birthday. Um, I know Chloe's is May the 21st, and I do believe that she will be 10. Um, and uh, Briley's birthday is November the 30th, and I believe she'll be 12. I have five grandchildren, and I don't know why it's so hard for me to keep up with their age. Um, I really don't. You know, I'm just burn up so many brain cells, I guess. But, hey, I don't burn them up anymore. That's what counts. Um, yeah, we had a wonderful time. We went and got pizza from Little Caesars and picked up some brownie mix, and I... Um, fixed them some brownies because I had made brownies 
when they came over for the Thanksgiving meal for dessert, and they wanted some of the same kind. They said they were just wonderful, the best brownies they ever ate. All they are are Betty Crocker milk chocolate, is all it says on the box. Betty Crocker milk chocolate. They are oh so good. Give them a try. They're better than some of these that have, you know, added chocolate syrup, added this, added that. They're very good for just a very plain, ordinary brownie. Um, and, um, you know, we watched JJ toddle around and he took a nap and we spent most part of the, for the most part, uh, pretty much all day over there yesterday so and had such a good time we were due though it had been a while since we spent any time with our Otis granddaughters um, so that's my chit chat and my outfit of the day everybody be safe be kind to one another be kind I gave a man yesterday that I thought might be just want money for something to drink, alcohol. I gave him half of the change that I had in my wallet. What they do with the money is not what you're supposed to worry about. Giving is what you're supposed to worry about. I did my part. Now, what he does with the money is his business. If I had had any paper money, I would have given him a couple of bucks, but I didn't have it. Be kind to one another. This world needs all of the kindness that it can get rolling around in it. Bye-bye, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.